this video, I'm going to go over limit boxes. Limit boxes let you place a box in the scene to define the visible points. As you may have guessed, points inside the box remain visible while those points outside the box are hidden. So to make a limit box, go to the limit box menu and click new limit box. This will make a limit box that encloses the entire scene by default. Um, you can rotate the limit box by grabbing an edge and you can change the size by grabbing a face and dragging it. So let's go ahead and line this box up to our scene. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to define an area of the scene that I want to look at. So we have in this setup, we have four scans and they're mostly from the front side of the shop. So I'm going to actually just chop the back off because we just want to focus on the area we have detail in. Like so. So once you're happy with your limit box, just click confirm. And you'll see now we've hidden a lot of the extra points. It makes it a lot easier to look at the area that we're interested in. So now we have one bounding box set up for our scene. And I'm going to show you how to use view states to save multiple bounding boxes or limit boxes. In the project navigator, let's open that up. Under view states, you can save a view state and the view state will actually save the current limit box. So let me click plus and we'll call this L box 01. Okay, and now I can go ahead and make a new limit box. So let's just isolate one piece of equipment in this room. Just grab one of these CNC machines. Okay, so I'm going to confirm that one. And a view state can also save any other settings you have on the view, such as the color. So let's go ahead and make this intensity. And we could even light it. So we put some lighting and intensity on it. Now let's just save. So we'll just save this one. L box 02. Okay, now if I click the original one, you'll see it takes us back to the original limit box with the original color settings. And I can return to this one. And you can save as many different views as you like. And so lastly, I'll show you a few of the handy options with limit boxes. So let's go back to limit box. And once we click limit box, our contextual menu comes up down here again. And under options, you'll see highlight edges. And highlight edges turns the points red where they intersect with the box, giving you this nice sectional view through the point cloud. And the other option is use interfaces, which hides the faces of the box that are in between you and the point cloud. So you can also use tab to toggle those on and off. And it's handy because a lot of times you want to be able to grab the face with them on, but then you want to click tab so to turn them off so you can see it a little cleaner. And that wraps up this video on limit boxes. Thanks for watching.